Hello everyone, in today's video we talk about the purpose of life, based on a piece of book The Astonishing Power of Emotions so you can think about the subject. The book says, What if someone told you that you do have a purpose in this life, and that your purpose is that of allowing more joy? And what if someone told you that the true measure of your success in life is your joy? What if you were told that the inherent basis of your life is freedom, and that not only were you born free, but because you have the freedom to choose your own thoughts, you always are free? What if it was explained to you that every time you reach for a thought that makes you feel better, you are, in that moment, achieving your purpose? You are adding to the improvement, to the evolution, of the well-being of all that is. What if you were informed that your seemingly solid beliefs are merely the coagulation of a series of individual thoughts, that you had at one time thought and then continued to think? What if you were told that from the moment of your birth, and even before, your thoughts, and therefore the formation of your beliefs, were largely influenced by those who came before you? And what if you were also told that the experiences of your life are, in essence, the result of your dominant thoughts? and that the essence of the thoughts that you focus your attention on long enough becomes manifested into your reality. Our diverse and flexible consciences have been molded by the fears, praise, admonitions, and promised rewards or threatened punishments to be administered either now or later, by those generations who have come before us. And so, in order to attempt to soothe the consciences of those who, in their fear, seek to control others, each new generation is instructed, even by the famous cartoon character Jiminy Cricket, to let your conscience be your guide. Whose thoughts, beliefs, or ingrained conscience should be my guide as to what is right for me? Let your feelings be your guide is being given to you in answer to that specific question. If my purpose is to discover ways to improve the way I feel, and if my thoughts equal my beliefs, equal my feelings, and thereby equal my experience, and if I can, by the law of attraction, that the essence of that which is like unto itself, is drawn, change my experience by changing my thoughts. Then how can I ascertain which of my thoughts beliefs will ultimately attract that which will ultimately please me? It's not about trying to fix or save a world that doesn't want or need to be fixed or saved, it isn't broken. You, no matter how wonderful you now feel, you want more. Regardless of how good you feel, you want to feel better. That's the mantra of the ever-expanding universe, more, 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 more expansion, more expression, more exposure, more desire, more life. Our planet Earth is populated by billions of us, each asking for an improved life, each asking for a way to feel better than we are now feeling. You and I, individually, have the option in every moment to allow ourselves to receive the well-being that is natural to us, or to resist it. And, in like manner, the billions of others who are also asking for more have that same option. And while there is nothing that we can desire that our abundant, unlimited universe doesn't have the capacity to give, we cannot receive that which we do not allow. That was a piece of the book. What do you think? Have you ever thought about the purpose of life? Have you ever found an answer? Tell me in the comments and don't forget to like and share with your friends.